Obviously, this is something you've thought a bit about, how, how people's personalities are formed. How, how are they formed over time? How do, how do I become the personality that I am? Oh, my gosh. I mean, that's such a, a complex question because um, it, of course, is a complex blend of nature and nurture and what you're born with and all the millions of things that happen to you. Um, the, the aspect of personality that I've been focusing on the most, uh, introversion and extroversion, is the one that many scientists call the north and south of temperament because it informs so much of how we live and work and love, really, and how we create. And it informs everything about what we do. And, you know, it, it is one of the most uh, heritable of all personality traits. So you can see it in babies as young as four days old. Uh, it has everything to do with how your nervous system is set up, um, with introverts and introverted babies reacting more, having nervous systems that react more to all different forms of stimulation. Um, so we tend to think only about the social side of life when we're talking about introversion and extroversion, but you can give babies as young as four days old sugar water to suck on, and you find that the babies who react more to that sugar water, which is a form of stimulation like anything else, um, are the same babies who, when they're two years old, will react with more reserve to a group of their, uh, a, a peer group of strangers, um, because it's their nervous system that is reacting more. And so I, I, I think when we talk about diversity, we need to be thinking about personality diversity and diversity of nervous systems as much as anything else. And we're wired a certain way. These are heritable traits. Yeah. How, how plastic is it over time? I mean, how much can you change from being an introvert to an extrovert? Or is that something that doesn't happen? Or vice versa. Or vice versa. Um, yeah. yeah, so what happens is we acquire all kinds of skills as we grow, right? So like if you think about a child who is shy and clinging to their parent's leg, let's say. I mean, you don't really see any 40-year-olds hiding behind their parent's legs, right? And, and that's because you develop skills over time, you develop social comforts over time. Um, your, your basic underlying preference for how do you want to spend your time, if, if, if you could spend it exactly as you wish, would you rather spend it kind of on your own or in a quieter setting, or would you rather be out at a big party? Like, that tends not to change so much over time. So, a kid who's, who has the temperament of Bill Gates doesn't grow up to be a kid like Bill Clinton. Um, <laughs> but but there's, within that, there's enormous elasticity.